Okay, we're now looking at who's going to be the top hot shot. James, Golden Boot selection. Uh, I've got a couple of mavericks in, in my portfolio. Mario Balotelli, um, who, who uh, hopefully will be starting up front for Italy. And um, they're obviously in a group with Spain, but they also have Croatia and Ireland there. And um, I mean, everyone, everyone makes the point, it's a valid point, that you know, this, this market is so often almost done and dusted by the end of the group stages. So if Balotelli, who is, is a kind of streak player, we've seen that at, at City, if he can fill his boots in, in the group stages, then you know, he's around 25, 28 to one. I think he's a great bet. The other one, at an even bigger price, um, Zlatan Ibrahimovic of Sweden. I mean, I don't think Sweden are any great shapes, but this is this is a guy who's one of the best strikers in the world for, for the last decade or so. And he's playing a little deeper for Sweden this time around, I think. And he can just make things happen all, all on his own. You know, he's not he's not as reliant as as many strikers on, on the service of his teammates. So I think at around 50 to 1, you know, if he if he can score and score three in the group stages, even if Sweden don't get three, he could could uh, nick a place there. Sounds great, the thought of Balotelli and Ibrahimovic playing together. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we might even get that, Milan, <laughs> if, if the links are true. What, about, what are your thoughts, Matt? I'm going to go for, there's two players, one towards the top of the market, Karen Benzema, there has been money for him, 20 to 1 into 16 to 1. I wish the 20s were still there, obviously. I think 16s is still a fair bet, though. I expect France to go well in this competition. I think he'll rely on good service from Nasri and Ribéry. I don't think there'll be a problem with that. I also felt that he was absolutely brilliant for Real Madrid this season. Uh, Cristiano Ronaldo obviously grabs all of the headlines for them. But I just felt the way that Mourinho... There's not many players. If Mourinho sort of doesn't fancy you initially, there are not many players that can come back from that. And there was a stage last season when... Uh, Mourinho was saying, I haven't got any strikers, and that was because he only had Benzema. So for him to have come back, he scored over 20 goals, he's fitter, he's hungrier, he's turned into more of a beast, if you like, as a, a number nine centre forward. If France is to go well, Benzema will have to play well because they haven't got too many strikers in their squad. So he's one. I also think within that, you know, there could be some cheap goals to come against Ukraine and also Sweden in the group stage. One further down, Kurzakov for Russia, he might not start. There's a lot of debate about whether it would be him or Pogrebniak to lead the line for the Russians. Whoever does has got a decent opportunity because I think they can definitely get out of that group A. It's a soft group. He scored over 20 goals for Zenit St. Petersburg this season. And also, I think that they'll once they get through Group A, I, I think they can beat whoever they play in Group B in that quarter-final because I can see that a, a, a situation where Germany win Group B but then Holland, Portugal and Denmark will be in an almighty tussle for second spot. They could have injuries, suspensions, I think there will be tiredness. Wouldn't be surprised if Russia got to the semi-finals. If they get to the semi-finals, they'll need a goal scorer. I think Kurt's across the map. Do you think it's, hard, it's harder or easier to look at the golden boot market now that a lot of teams play with one centre forward rather than two? I think it's harder actually, purely because you don't know which one of those two strikers will play. Gomez is the favourite for instance. Is he certain to start ahead of closer? I don't think, I, I wouldn't like to have a, a, you know, a significant bet on who started as that number nine. You've got Van Persie and Hunter Lahr been watching Holland in their friendlies. Van Persie, you know, he played against Slovakia for 60 odd minutes, then they took him off and Hunter Lahr was on. So you've got, you know, rarely will these two be playing together. Well, I remember so, last, at the World Cup, I backed uh, Van Persie to be top goal scorer. They played one centre forward all the way through. They got to the final and he scored one goal. Yeah, I mean, you, you often get with these number nine strikers, and they're used more as the setup man aren't they, you know, for, for on-rushing midfielders. I think at the World Cup, Schneider, Muller, for instance, filled, you know, the, the joint winners within that. So it's a difficult one for punters and I'd expect the action to start once the team, once you get a real flavour for who mm. who's playing up front, you, you can you can nail your colours to somebody, which is why you know with France, Benzema will start, which is why I've got Yeah, I'm, I'm with him for the same reason, really. So James, to sum up, Mario Balotelli and Zlatan Ibrahimovic. And what sort of sounds like a good night out, doesn't it? What sort of prices we're getting out um, there? I think Balotelli's around 25, 28 to 1, and Zlatan, uh, if you can get each way 50 to 1, that's, that's the bet there. And you've got um, Benzema at 16. Yeah, yeah, Benzema at 16 to 1. Kursikov, he was 100 to 1 into 66. I still think that's a bet if he starts.